everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another episode of RimWorld! And in today's episode, we're going to continue to build. Honestly, I really don't actually know what to do next um, with this particular grab other than to build continuously. Uh, now, you may notice that this is not picking up directly off from where we left off in the last episode. Um, that is unfortunately because of the fact that we actually had some issues um, with uh, the construction. Um, as you can see here, the mod, they, they just updated the... Um, the unstable branch uh, just now uh, and unfortunately in doing so it made it so that I couldn't use my bulk uh, creation mods so unfortunately I had to turn those all off and uh, as you can see here I can't make the those things anymore however that's not that big of a deal I had to completely deconstruct and reconstruct these things completely um, so but it's not the worst thing in the world this is pretty much just purely vanilla at this point now um, so I certainly hope you guys will still enjoy, obviously, the thing. So let's go on ahead and keep this up to where we wanted it at in the first place. Um, do until you have. Don't do until you have. And then let's do fine meals as well and do until you have ten as well. All right, good. I, I do wish that the bulk was sort of one of those things that was naturally in there. It's just because of the fact that I prefer it that way. But... Things happen, and, you know, whatever. Uh, as you can see, Exotic Goods Trader did come in. I actually have already checked what they have. Uh, they don't really have anything that I would want. They have some bionic legs and bionic eyes and stuff like that that I would totally buy if I could. Uh, but, unfortunately, I don't have anything I can sell to them that they would want, and uh, it costs more money than I have. So, yeah, there we go. It's, it is what it is. So, we will have, of course, people cooking here. Who's our cooks right now? Gustav and... Uh, Cayenne. I guess Sloan could technically... No, no, let's not let Sloan cook. He's only got a one. Now, what I do need to do, when I, and one of the things I do know that I need to do, is I need to actually start getting ourselves some a little bit more food production, because we are coming close to the um, end of the summer, or end of the spring. No. We're in the fall. Um, and what I'm going to do here is we are going to do corn plants. And the other thing I want to do is I need to actually get ourselves up a an actual oh, okay we can't build in any of that darn it okay well I think we can take care of that though floors wood there we go can I build things here no I can't all right so let's cancel that and cancel that and cancel that and do something like that We're effectively going to end up making this our research center, uh, research zone. I'll speed this up a little bit. Don't want to go too crazy. At least that's the idea of the plan that I have here for this, uh, is to make it the research zone. Um, structure. Can't put anything there, so that's not too big of a deal. Oh. And then we'll go across here. I'll probably just deconstruct that one. Boom, there we go. Alrighty then, so we should be able to plop down the high-tech with no problem. We don't really have the, uh, um, the, the metal for it just yet, um, but that should be okay. We should be able to get the metal, no problem. Um, where was I mining metal? There's where I was mining metal. We'll just mine that up, and obviously, of course, this is probably more than likely... Uh, well, not more than likely. It is going to obviously open up our little defensive wall there, so we'll have to go on ahead and defend there, you know, rebuild that up once it's done. Now, if you guys didn't notice, obviously, from before, uh, what it was I was effectively trying to do here is I was trying to build pretty much a sort of like a, a entrance, a, entrance entryway uh, into this location um, on both ends. 
so that way we could have people come if once the enemies actually come in to attack us they're they're funneled in essentially in these directions and i want to eventually at some point build outwards a little bit further um because one of the things that, that is good about knowing how these guys work is that these guys do tend to follow a very particular direction uh when they go uh into your base they're going to go after your walls the closest wall if you're completely enclosed however if you've got openings like this they're gonna go straight for these openings they're not even gonna worry about your walls so with that being the case we should quote unquote should uh be able to actually get this taken care of that way but i can't obviously promise anything i'm also gonna put this um communications thing in here and i don't think this improves anything no it doesn't didn't think so but i wanted to be sure and i kind of want to put this in here because of the fact that this you know does this but i don't know where to put it i guess i could just put it down dead center of the of the of the thing right i mean wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do that right and it would improve both things and i could do do two of them right here Let's continue to mine this out first. I'll think about that later. Uh, just so you guys know what that what the, what that was I was looking at here. That is a tool cabinet. Uh, tool cabinets will, in fact, actually improve your uh, performance of your crafting tables and such. So it's always a good idea to have those up and running if you can. If you can. Um, just because these are here, I'm going to deconstruct. No, wait, wait, wait. Not that one. Deconstruct those. Because this one's still connected, obviously, so it doesn't need anything mo more. There we go. And then this one should still connect to that once once we get it done. Um, I don't know how much more metal we have, or how much more metal we even need. Oh, we might have enough now. Do we have the components that we need? Because there are a couple of uh, ship's parts that we could go and deconstruct to get components. Plus, of course, there's also the, the components over here. Kind of hope they take care of that one first. I'm glad he's doing that because I'm pretty sure he's better at it than everybody else. Yeah, really? It doesn't connect? Let's go forward one at a time and just see if that will connect. So we, we're not wasting too much metal just to make that. And we only have one component left, so we are definitely going to have to go get some more components here. So I'm thinking probably more than likely the best our best bet for that is going to be getting these things. So deconstruct those. And then there's some over here. Deconstruct those. And I feel like there's some more around here somewhere. And those should be taken care of fairly easily, fairly quickly. Should be no issue to take care of those anyways. And I don't think there's any... Well, there's probably more and I just don't know where they are. But anyways... Well, once we get this also cleared out and then that built and then everything else like that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a kind of do something a little similar over here. Um, have this extend out a little bit and have the, well, we can't obviously extend it out over here because of the, the mud and everything. Um, but I might be able to extend it out over on this end or something like that, you know. Okay, cool. I can actually extend it out over there. How about right here? Can I do anything here? Nope. But yeah, and do something similar to that like that. Um, then we're going to go um, from there to like, I'd say somewhere a little bit further down. Um, just just probably right up to about like right here or so. Uh, then we'll have like kind of this thing going and then we'll probably throw in like a, uh, like a turret or two. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to get more metal, more components, more everything. We're going to have to get everything. So they're going to have to really get hit these things hard. I'm probably going to have to go looking for more metal or definitely use up the rest of it that's here. Oop. 
Once they wake up, anyways. Good thing is I opened a door over here for them to do that with pretty easily. Okay, we got that one at least taken care of. And how many components did we get? Ooh, that's a nice number of components. We got eight. Eight from a single ship part. That's pretty awesome, actually. Um, let's see what else we got. We got those over there. And that's ooh, nine more component parts. That's awesome. And I feel like there's I feel like there's aha, there is one more at least. One more at least. I feel like there's more, but this green background with looking for a green ship part is just <laughs> not an easy thing to do. I think that might have been all of them. There might be more and I just don't know about it or something like that yet, but we'll 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 keep looking just to be on the safe side and also who's all of our miners? He's our miner, he's a miner and I technically I guess I could make Kaylun a miner as well. They he has some sort of a passion for it, so having three miners would probably be good anyways in the long run. All right, so let's prioritize collecting these components, guys. Oh yeah, there's Ambrosia over here too. I'm not sure if this will actually allow me to do anything with it. I'm not even entirely sure where this stuff came from because I don't remember it being important. Or I remember it being important, I just don't remember it actually being something we used a lot. So I'm going to use the fall period to grow my corn. Hopefully this will all grow within the period. And this is all on rich soil as far as I'm aware of. So this should all grow fairly quickly. Um and easily except for these two these two won't grow very well because it's mossy soil or marshy soil I should say but it'll, it'll be alright we'll, we'll be able to survive can we like haul that and how's the refrigerator doing oh that's actually very warm why is it so warm Is it because we don't have an airlock and they're constantly going in and out of the building? Or is it just because it's really, really super hot outside? Struck compacted machinery. You'll get better at it eventually. I think. Let's see. Yeah, see, wasn't she only at, like, two? Now she's at three. Look at that. She's going up fast. Yeah, she'll be good at this eventually. Hopefully those aren't deep areas, because I don't really want a random infestation to just only appear out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Ooh, we got some visitors. Ooh, they actually have some items to trade, too. And I'm not worried about that fire. As you can see, we have rain constantly going, so any fire that happens is just going to be pretty much immediately removed. Who's our best miner? Probably um, Kane, isn't he? Yeah, Kane's got an 11 mining. Kane, you're just a great all-arounder, aren't you? I don't really know what his... Oh, shit. What the hell is that doing out there? What the hell is my uh, my glitter medicine doing out there? What the hell? I didn't thank God I noticed it. I mean, thank luckily I have more than enough like regular stuff, but why would I want to waste my my glitter world medicine that like that? That's so ah, man. What how did that how was that even, like, determined to be put there, you know? I mean, I, I... I don't know. I have no idea. Let's trade with Pickles real quick. See what Pickles has got. Yeah, we can sell the short bow. That's no problem with that. I ain't got no issue with that. 
you know, we can sell the Synthread uh, jacket, too. Uh, no one's using it. Um, why don't we sell all the Ambrosia we just got? Why not? He's got a 290, so now we should probably buy something from him. Uh, medicines, why not? Not the worst thing in the world to buy, buy from somebody. And we could sell some of this cloth. Nope, not all of it. Uh, how about like a hundred of it? One hundred. One. One. Can we do... Can we do three? Four? Any, okay, well, this thing won't let me actually type it in, apparently. Thirty-two. Sweet, there we go. Okay. There we go. We'll sell it so we get all the all the silver we can off of him, as well as obviously all, all the items that we actually wanted from him. Did this? Did they, they, they wouldn't made that, right? They did. Apparently, it wasn't long enough. Okay, so all this is frozen. And man, that really pisses me off. Hopefully, this stuff still works like the way it's supposed to work. Okay, storm's over. Uh, just to recap a little bit about what happened in the previous episode, in case anybody's kind of wondering about that. Uh, we did actually get... Um, our main concern was we didn't have any people, but we just... Within, like, literally within that last episode, I think we got like four people i was just sitting there talking into myself saying you know we really need more people and then it's just like boom so then we had a bunch of them boatloads how much how much more cloth do we have uh 500 in total and that's gonna be 200 right there and then one 300 400 500 so we wouldn't have enough to do everything and why not who cares? Not that big of a deal. Uh, comfort comfortable armchair, I figure, you know. They'd much rather have that than, than like, one of these other things. Plus, it might make the thing look better, right? And it's a good one. How about this one? And it's a good one as well. Awesome. So then L2 will work on that one. Oh, yes. And let's go ahead and do some research as well. So let's see here. Pause this for just a second so we can think about this. You know what? I know exactly what I want to do. I want to do long blades. I don't even have to think about it. Because I actually want to deconstruct this, 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 and this. Uh, once we get the opportunity to. I realize I use basically all my cloth. So, like, the tailoring bench and everything like that. Is, uh gonna have probably some issues if I decide to do anything with that like I'm gonna have to probably or I don't have to but I would like to consider making him them everybody else some more cowboy hats let's see here actually make two boy cowboy hats now we just end up making cloth cowboy hats they're not like the best things in the world um, but he'll use whatever he can find oh see that's husky fur actually oh husky fur Ooh, poor orange. <laughs> oh, man. I don't give that to Kane. Don't give that. I'm going to call him Kane. I was calling him Cayenne for, for a little while there. Uh, but I figured, you know what? It, it looks more like a Kane to me. And I realize it's probably not the proper pronunciation there. But I don't care. <laughs> um, let me see here. Remove a roof here. Okay, good. I got po food poisoning from Simple Meal. Not really surprised. And why is this in there? Because food is in here for some reason. Can we get rid of foods, please? And I figured... We, I thought this was as critical. Oh, that's what... Put that as in critical. How about we do this as preferred? Just that way we don't end up accidentally doing that again. I don't want to lose all my stupid... Meals to... Freaking retarded-ass bunnies and shit. And breakdown. Oh, man. That means we need to use a... Oh, wow, we have a lot more components now than we did before. Um, I didn't realize that those uh, ship parts would give us the, quite that many components. Plus, we did also, of course, mine out components over here, so I suppose that one do, would do it as well. 
We didn't do that, right? There we go. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that these things didn't end up with, like... Uh, let's not do that. Haul those. Did the cooler? Yeah, he fixed it. Cool. Good, good, good. The very least, these, this thing keeps it refrigerated for the most part. So even if it does get really hot in here, uh, they'll they won't they'll take like two quadrums you've seen for it to just decompose and such. So that's always good. And let me see here. Machine table. I don't know if I want to do machine table or if I want to do the, the smithy. Because what I'm going to do is... Um, where is that at? Electrical smithing right here. There it is. I want to do long blades and then I want to do electrical smithing. But I might want to just throw in the fueled one. Because it's not like we don't have enough wood. You know what I mean? I might not even worry about doing the electrical smithing. Because, like, what's the point of it? And did he finish? They did finish the hat. Okay, so he needs to finish the one other hat. Make another cowboy hat. And how much metal do we have? 359. So that's not quite enough for what I'm looking for. Oh. Oop, we got a raid. Wake up, everybody. We got a raid. One guy. And apparently he's got some he he's got some problems with getting around, so he's gonna dig through here. Just please dig out the limestone. I don't care if you dig out that stuff. No big deal there. Just don't dig out the uranium or the compacted machinery, please. And that should take give him that should take them a while him a while. Okay, so he's gonna straight up go as soon as we start. So boop. Pretty sure one of these guys can't fight. Not sure which one of them is. it is. It's you, so go away. Oh shit! Grouping up like a dumbass. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, did he? <laughs> you asshole! You killed him! How could you? How could you, you asshole? You killed Gustav. Well, at least everybody else is still okay. Um, we can't bury him. We don't have enough for that. But we can get that. And, in fact, actually prioritize hauling that real quick. And then let's bury this mofo. The jackass killed Gustav. That sucks. I was my bad for not realizing that he was going to actually use the grenades on me. I mean, I knew he would, but I just, for some reason, my brain didn't click there. Where did I put my other, other graveyards? I feel like I put them over here, didn't I? Oh, here they are. Here they are. Okay, so we can put one right there, and then I guess we gotta, uh, no, wait, no. We won't build this one. We're gonna turn this into our tomb. Um, do we have any, what, what kind of metal, or stone do we have? Sandstone... And that's it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do marble. Do we have marble? Like, is there marble laying around? There is marble. Okay. So let's get some stone cutting done. Add bills. Marble. Do until you have... Let's do... Nope. Not 2,000. Always hit the wrong button there. Mm, 500 and... 500 is... And 510 is fine. We'll do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a marble um, sarcophagus. And we're going to put it in here. Primarily thinking that because this is, you know, these cryo sleeps and everything like that. They're disappointing and everything. Oh, yes. Also, could you prioritize hauling that and hauling that? And we'll leave the bodies out here until we've got the... Um, things taken care of okay and we'll just speed this up a little bit poor Gustav I feel bad for him
I don't know what happened to him. I, I don't know. I'm well, I'm, I know what happened to him. Oh, speaking of, how are these guys doing? Um, neat health wise. Okay, good. They're not like dying. Oh, wait, wait. They are dying, actually. Oh, shit. Completely forgot that these guys needed uh, taken care of. Oh. Oh, I thought I told you to to. Uh, I told you to prioritize Clinton helping him. Luckily, you know he's the, he's actually the good medic now, um, so, to some degree. Um, where is his uh, thing at? Because I, I gave him, I went on ahead and gave him the neuro trainer, because um, I figured why not. So that made that a little bit better. Out of curiosity, uh, use all kinds of ranged weapons, use melee weapons as well as unarmed combat. Okay, so I think I don't think that counts as for grenades. Beauty, flammability, yeah, whatever, no big deal. So I don't think any of these guys. Ooh, exotic trader showed up. Sweet. Out of curiosity, too, we probably should add a light in here because I'm kind of needing some light. I feel like it would be better. Um, the other, what, what was the other thing I wanted to add? There was something else I wanted to add, but I don't remember now. Sloan, because Kalum is down, so Sloan, you're going to have to be the one who talks to him. Oh, never mind. Kalum's up. Oh, okay. Fine. Cancel. Sloan, you can do it. Alrighty then, let's see what we got that they might actually want. They want my gold. They want my glitter world medicine. Actually, to be honest with you, with it, with it being just as destroyed as it is, I might want to consider selling it. And since I don't even use it anyways, I might want to just use it and just go ahead and destroy it. I mean, it's not going to be worth any. It's not really worth anything at this point. So I don't know. It's not really... Well, actually, the fact that it's not worth anything might be a good reason not to get rid of it. And I don't have anything else he would really want other than, like I said, the gold. And I don't really want to get rid of the gold right away. I actually have a legitimate reason to keep that. I only have 1,720 silver, so I don't really actually have any silver. Ooh. I could get a liver and a simple prosthetic arm. But durable arm prosthesis and a bionic leg. Uh, it could be used as a weapon, apparently. Woo! Alright. I think I might buy this um, just for the simple fact that... No, you know what? I, I don't think I will buy it. Yeah, I won't buy it. For now. For now. For now. It didn't really look like there was anything in there that I actually wanted to buy. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oh, yes, yes. Um, do we have the stone yet for the that we were on? No, we don't have it yet. Who's, who's going to work on that, actually, out of curiosity? Oh, shit. Was he the guy who was doing all the good crafting? Okay, good. No, he wasn't. He was actually kind of a, a nobody, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but man, he kind of was, in, in all honesty. So it's Leon who's doing that stuff. Okay, that's good. So Leon, I want you to make a... No, well, you don't have that research done yet, so... Leon, where's Leon at, anyways? Oh, he's hurt. That's what it is. They have a bear? They have two bears. Why do they have, do they have a bear? Not even just bears, they have polar bears. Whew, whatever. I 
Okay. Well, that wasn't very exciting, unfortunately, for that raid. It was sucked that we lost Gustav there because of me being stupid. Um, we are going to go ahead and, like I said, hurry up and see if we can't get that constructed. Um, well, where's Leon at? What is he doing right now? Actually, how about you prioritize cutting this instead and actually suspend this one? Just so that way we can actually get this taken care of. Um, I don't know how much this is going to take. Marble. 60 marble. That's how much it's going to take. And we're going to build it... Right there. We'll build two just to be on the safe side. Just so we have another one up and ready to go. And where's Leon in again? And what is he doing? He's, he's still cutting good. He's still doing his job. He's doing what he's doing. Yeah, that's right. He's doing what he's doing. All right. Okay, and then Kane's doing that. And we can unforbid him. Once he gets done with this. They're leaving. You can do it, Kane. Nope. Prioritize constructing. I was not going to let you finish that. You are going to finish that. Normal. Okay, that's good. And we're going to prioritize bearing Gustav. I think that seems like a legit way to do that. And once we actually destroy all these ancient cryo sleep carrying caskets and everything like that, and we get these other people out, I will actually be able to to probably do some more of this kind of thing. Um, we'll end up just turning this essentially into our crypt for all of our colonists. So, Rip Gustav, our first actual colonist to die. Um, but I am going to go ahead and end the actual video here as well. Uh, so everyone say goodbye to Gustav. He was... He will be forever missed, and of course, he never did anything in the in the game to begin with, so who cares? Anyways, I certainly hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, you guys know the drill by now. Go on and hit that like button if you liked it. If you really liked it, go on and hit that subscribe um, share button. If you really loved it and you liked and you haven't already, go on and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. And don't forget to have fun.